Okay, I'm going to count down five, four, three, two, one, zero. I want to make sure the technology connects. Hey, this is Paul. And I just been thinking a lot about this. This is the one, two punch of building your business. And the one punch is the top of the sales funnel stuff. So this is uh, creating awareness, uh, you know, generating interest and learning more about what you're doing, getting people to engage. I call your kind of your touch point ecosystem, people engaging on things that you're doing. And this is, you know, maybe you're doing LinkedIn webinars, uh, email campaigns, you know, lead generation campaigns, uh, you know, where people are signing up for things, opening emails, clicking, responding, you know, the engagement, engagement, getting people in top of the sales funnel stuff. And then uh, this is all one punch stuff. There's a big discussion there, uh, you know, what goes on uh, and how you do that. The two punch of all this is the back end where as people are engaging, now you've got to book the Zoom and then obviously, you know, get them as a client, pay for your service or your product. That two punch is what I want to just highlight here today. Uh, it is a huge deal, obviously, and there are some common components that go in to that two punch that uh, that you've got to focus on. And it's a common thread woven throughout all the successful, you know, Vistage chairs, coaches, you know, owners, whoever working with. I see it with them. This is uh, this is what they're doing, and this is what I'm preaching constantly. Uh, so let's take a look at this two punch and uh, what needs to go on there. Okay, I'm going to share my screen here. Uh, so let me get this going. Boom and share. Okay. So you're going to see this whiteboard here. This is going to be something that's just very simple. So when you're doing the two punch, this is where, you know, you've got, um, you've got people that have engaged with you. The very first step here is that you've got to organize your, uh, leads. And so let's say you're doing this on a Friday weekend, whatever you're preparing for the next week, uh, you've got to get organized. And I, I recently put together a big, long video on the one-two punch. I'm going to get that out to everybody, so keep an eye open for that. But now I just want to do kind of an overview of this. But organize your leads. You know, don't, you know, this is not Google, you know, Docs, Excel spreadsheets. you got to organize them. Find your leads of who you're going to reach out to for the next week and get those people organized. Google Contacts is a system I talk about in that big, long video uh, that I'm going to dive into. But point is just get them all ready know who you're going to reach out to for the next week so you're uh you're ready to go and then on day one here's what you do so on day one you are going to send a let's say you have 10 let's call it 10 people you're reaching out to uh you're going to on day one send a video email it's my recommendation i use bomb bomb which is a uh, video messaging tool. It's insane. I love it. So many things you can do with it. But on day one, you're going to send a very high level email uh, to this prospect. Okay. So that's the first step. The second thing you're going to do, you're going to craft that thing. And then as soon as you send the email, right, right away, you're going to send a LinkedIn message. And that is very strategic. And what you say, it's referring back to the email you sent. With bomb bomb videos, you can include the link to the video that you send an email, the LinkedIn message. So there's a whole strategy there. But again, this is big picture. Step two is LinkedIn message. Step three on day one is if you have a cell phone number, you can send a text. Now, this is the one area where you've got to be careful because you don't want to piss anybody off by you know them them thinking you're invading them with a with a text, but you know, texting is a thing. You know, I've got a texting app I use for for communication. So um, it is next level in many ways, but you got to be careful and be judicious about that. But these, this is day one. You're doing this for one prospect. You you handle this, get the messaging right. There's a strategy into this for one person. And 
you uh, do this for one person, then boom, 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 boom uh, for the next one, the next one, and the next one. So this is day one. Day two is calling. And the reason I like sending stuff out before I call is because I want them to get something. I'm building knowability, likability, trust, and you know, God willing, they open an email or see the LinkedIn message or the text or whatever it is that it builds some knowability and they see that you're not you know, you're not just some, you know, crazy person that you actually are articulate, you're doing good things and, and so forth. And so then you're calling. Now you're going to get voicemails, but if you get a voicemail, that's not a losing proposition. It's very strategic on what you say on that voicemail, referring back to the emails because you just want them to open this really high level touch email that you sent. Uh, and so you're referring back to that. If you get somebody on on the line, of course you're doing you know what you do best, your thing with the call. Uh, so so just again, broad brush stroke. There there is your touch for a prospect. Now, these are the important components that have to go into this. First of all, got to be organized with this. So got to get your leads organized into a digital system where you can take notes and set reminders to follow up. Right? So this is just a process and got to have something like that. So being organized with this, managing your pipeline, especially if you're automating, automating and scaling your outreach, organization is key. Big discussion there. Time blocking, huge. I mean, you just got to time block, turn everything off. You know, I remember, you know, when I was making 500 cold calls a day, you know, back starting out, uh, I put a note on the door, do not disturb, I'm calling. And I shut everything off and, you know, I have my energy drink, my snacks, my system, and it was just boom, you know, and you've got to think that way. Time block, and you can't go crazy with it. Don't time block five hours. No one's going to be able to last that. Chunks of like an hour, you know, time block, grind it out, go do something else, take a break. So time blocking, maybe that's, you know, obvious for you. Uh, but for a lot, it isn't. You got to time block and be diligent about doing that. Got to be unemotional about uh, about doing these things. The minute you start getting bummed out and people reject you, um, you know, it's game over. You just got to get that out of there. And no, I always felt like, OK, I got excited when somebody rejected me and still do because I know I'm one step closer to somebody saying yes, because it's a numbers game. If you're doing it right, you're professional, all of that it's a numbers game at some level when you're reaching out. So be unemotional. And then persistence and planning go together. You can't be persistent if you don't have a plan. And I see a lot of, you know, people that kind of flop around with the uh, with the two punch, not organized. They, they say, okay, even if they time block, they're not real, they don't know what to do when they time block. Say, okay, I've got an hour. And then they're trying to figure out who should I call? Half an hour goes by before they get over that. So you just got to be, have a plan, this process ready to go, and then and then be persistent in carrying this out. So uh, hope this little snippet helps. Keep your eye open for my bigger video that's going out. Right, just break down every aspect of one and two, uh, punch one and uh, punch two. Okay, thanks.